Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's, It's time, time for K-Chat! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Amy Sumartinas and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain powers nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Vicky is a graduate student from the School of Urban and Regional Planning. She is also a university research associate from the College of Architecture and volunteers for the non-profit organization Reboot Philippines. Charlene is in love with cinema and is a BA film major at the UP Diliman. Oka is a communications professional and a former journalist. Kato is a UP student. Her hobby is playing games on her Nintendo Switch. She also has two dogs. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the Department of History, UP Diliman. And Professor Maylene Cruz, Assistant Professor from the Department of Theory, College of Fine Arts, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Vicky, how many sides does a parallelogram have? Okay, check. Charlene, what is the official currency of Japan? Yen. Okay, check. Oka, Tony Stark is the real identity of which Marvel superhero? Uh, Iron Man? Okay, check. Kato, what do you call the line segment that is twice the radius of a circle? Diameter. Okay, check. Vicky, what is the official currency of Belgium, Slovenia, and Spain? Euro. Okay, check. Charlene. In what 1994 Disney film did Mufasa and Simba appear as title characters? Lion King. K-check. Oka, how do you call a triangle with no equal or congruent sides? I'm sorry. Correct answer is Scalene. Kato, in what country is the yuan the monetary unit? China. K-check. Vicky, which 2001 DreamWorks film stars an ogre who lives in a swamp? Shrek. K-check. Charlene, how many sides does a decagon have? Ten. K check. Oka, what is the name of the currency of Singapore, Australia, and Canada? Dollar. K check. And Kato, Buzz Lightyear is one of the main characters in what Disney Pixar film franchise? Toy Story. K check. And that's it for our first round, the K check Paramian round. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Grabe yung anong Naka, yun. Exciting, oh, close oh, by. Oh. Diba? Oh, oh, Na-excite oh. ako doon sa parang pak, 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 pak. Oh, ikaw masasagot mo lahat ng questions doon? Konti lang siguro. Mm, Kasi, feeling ko masasagot. Mar masyadong maraming pop culture. Hirap ako doon. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tingnan natin kung mahihirapan si Prof. Marian doon. Prof. Marian, mahihirapan ka ba pag gano'n yung mga questions? Yung iba kaya alam ko lahat ng mga Lion King, yung mga ganyan, wow. di ba? Siyempre. Pag-generational ng mga Lion generation King. Generation ko yun, <laughs> Lion King, Little Mermaid, right? So, Correct. lahat uh -oh. yan. Tsaka Snow White. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, lahat yan, uh, except yung Scalene, parang medyo nahirapan si Oka doon, no? Mm. Pero yung iba, talagang, ito yung talagang paramihan talaga sila. Lahat madami ang Correct. nasagot. Parang perfect. Mm -hmm. Almost, no? Correct, correct. So, may tanong ako kay Vicky lang. Interesting. Lahat sila interesting. Si Vicky ay grad student na. Yes po. What degree? Um, I'm taking my diploma in urban and regional planning. Right? Ooh. So, pag ba urban and regional planning, you plan for the 
urban cities. Oh, What well, do you do? That's part of the scope, but it also has different tracks where it goes to, it can focus on environment, real estate planning, um, as well as um, government and, uh, if there was government and other, uh, government works and systems, and another one is transport. And your background is architecture? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're involved with this Reboot Philippines. Um, ano itong Reboot Philippines? Okay, so Reboot Philippines is a youth-led advocacy. It is non-profit and a non-government organization that advocates for the just and democratic energy transition in the Philippines. Thank you. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, gusto ah, ko mag-search to like ano yung reboot Philippines. I think nakakalculate sa ng mga carbon credits. No? Mm. Kasi energy. Okay, something. baka interesado ka doon. No? Oh. Ako may interest ako kay Oka. No? So, Oka, ano naman ang pakiramdam na nasa presence ka ng mga youngsters, ng mga competitors mo sa dito sa atin? Makes me feel young for sure. Mm -hmm. Nakikita ko kanina na sinasasagot mo even yung mga pop culture references. No? Ano yung pinanggagalingan nun? No? Ikaw ba ay exposed sa ganong kultura? Uh, I have four kids who are very deep into pop culture. So, I have to keep up with them. Eh. Okay, bonding experience yun, no, sir. Okay. okay, maraming salamat. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! -check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Now, let's look at the scores of our competitors. This is very exciting. We actually have three people in first place. Vicky, Charlene, and, o and Kato garnered 30 points. And they're followed very closely by Oka with 20 points. Mm -hmm. Ito yung pinakamabilis na round na, na ano ko. Oo, oh, oh, sobrang exciting oh, talaga. Oh. Diba? Parang ako talagang kahit sino pali manalo at this point, di ba? Oh, kasi sa round two, mayroon mm -hmm. ng minus-minus. So, uh -oh. It's going to be... Okay. Gusto magpustahan tayo kung sino mananalo. Sige. Ah, sige. sige. Mamaya, mamaya. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! The first question is on current events. Liz Truss replaced Boris Johnson as the Prime Minister of which country? Oka. Great Britain. Mali. Charlene. United Kingdom. Okay, check. Next question. Casablanca is an exotic city while Rabat is the capital of which African? Oka. Morocco. Okay, check. Next question. Which team swept past King Whale Taipei to win the Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference last August? Oka. Philippines. Malipo. Ang tamang sagot ay cream line. What is the name of Scottish dish made of sheep heart? Charlene. Haggis. Okay, check. Which Filipina American singer's debut single was entitled Driver's License? Vicky. Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, check. One of the most popular martial artists in the movies, which actor from Hong Kong starred in the film Kato? Jackie Chan. Okay, check. Which Russian scientist is known for formulating the periodic law and creating his version of the periodic table of elements? Charlene. Dimitri Mendeleev. Okay, check. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest particle accelerator, is located underground. CERN. Male. Switzerland. Male. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest particle accelerator, is located underground beneath the border of Switzerland and what other European country? The correct answer is France. Next question. What province in Cagayan Valley is named after a Spanish queen? Vicky. Isabella. Okay, check. 
Described by David Finkelstein in 1985 as a region of space from which nothing can escape, what do you call the cosmic phenomenon where light and time are... Kato! Black hole. Okay, check. Next question. If it is noon, 12 noon in New York in September, what time is it in the Philippines? Vicky. 12 noon. Male. Oka. 1 a.m. Male. Kato. 8 a.m. Male. Spring forward, fall backward, 12 midnight. And the last question for this round. Diego is the name of the saber-toothed tiger in which 2002... Vicky! Ice Age. Okay, check! And that's it for our Puppy Listen round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Let's have a points recap first. Now, una, si Vicky tsaka si Charlene na may 80 points. Susunod si Kato na may 50 points. At si Sir Oka na may 10 points. No? Napaka-electrifying ng round na yun, di ba, Prof May? Di ka ba na-shock sa round na yun? Di naman. Magagaling silang lahat. And I'm sure na hanggang sa last round ay very competitive pa rin ito. Okay. May tanong ka ba sa mga contestants natin, Prof May? Para kay Charlie, Charlene. Charlene, you are a film major. Bakit film ang kinuha mo sa college? Mahabang kwento po yan. Sige, bigyan mo kami ng um, hindi naman kahabaan na sagot. Originally po, first choice ko po yung CW. Tapos natanggap po ako sa CL. Tapos, imbis na mag-shift sa CW, lumipat po ako ng linguistics. Tapos, bawal na po ako mag-shift ulit sa... CW kasi parehas po yung department, kaya film na lang po. <laughs> okay, mahaba nga yung trajectory mo. Um, kamusta naman ang film? Nagugustuhan mo na siya ba? Nagugustuhan mo na ba siya ngayon? O may... Oh, Napakagastos na <laughs> po niya. <laughs> Napakagastos po niya, kaya po ako nandito. <laughs> kaya siya nandito kasi ang gastos daw. Nag-iipon siya ng... Pang thesis. Salapi, no? Pang, pang pelikula. <laughs> okay, good luck sa iyo at good luck sa mga contestants natin. Maraming salamat. Ikaw, Prof. Nia, may gusto kang matanong sa mga oh, contestants? Hindi, pero bago ko itanong si Kato, pwede ba akong mag, magbigay lang ng comment kay Charlene, no? Baka bad press naman yung film department niya. Sorry okay, po. Baka ang hamon sa film department, paano sila magiging cost efficient para sa kanilang mga estudyante? Okay, so yung tanong ko ay para kay Kato. Um, kung si Charlene ay film major, ano yung kinukuha mong kurso sa UP Diliman? Ngayon po ay isa po akong estudyante ng BS Community Nutrition. So, kadalasan yung mga estudyante ko na kumuha ng Community Nutrition, tingin nila doon pre-med course. Ikaw ba gusto mo bang maging uh, doktor? Oh no, anything but med. <laughs> anything but med. So, yes, I plan on pursuing po ano. I plan on pursuing a research-based track or public health track po. Okay. Mm. Gusto ko yung ganun. Gusto ko yan. Okay. So pwedeng si Kato pwedeng mag-build ng academic career sa College of Home Economics. Okay. Sige, good luck Kato. Okay, maraming salamat Prof Neil. So this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Now let's look at the scores of our competitors. Wow, Tai ang nauuna. We have Vicky and Charlene with 80 points followed by Kato at 50 points and then we have Oka with 10 points. I'm sure later on talagang maghahabulan pa tong mga to yeah, ano, on the oh. third round. Ang gusto ko sa round na to kasi pwede pang humabol kahit sino. No? So wala pang definite winner kung baga. No? So malalaman natin kung sino ang ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Winner where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. 
At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winners. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Prof. Marion, first question please. Biology. In natural selection, which determines what trait will be successful and propagate in the succeeding generations? Kato. Genes. Male. Vicky. DNA. Male. Charlene. Dominant genes. Male. Okay, so the genes will be affected by this. Organisms that are more adapted to their environment are more likely to survive and pass on the genes to the next generation. So th the correct answer is environment. Mm -hmm. It's the environment. It's environment. Correct. Okay, Prof. Neil, next question. So, which country in Europe has developed Spotify as one of the world's largest music streaming service. Vicky. Switzerland. Incorrect. Oka. Sweden. So, bukod sa Spotify, ang bansang ito ay maraming leading brands. No? Uh, Volvo, H&M, IKEA, Electrolux, at Ericsson. Ang tamang sagot ay Sweden, K-Check. Okay, pupuntahan natin yan, no, Prof. Neil. Prof. Maylin. He is heralded as a pioneer of Philippine modern sculpture and his works are found all around the UP campus. Charlene. Toim Imau. Mali. Oka. Napolya na Bueva. K-Check. Si Napoleon Nabueva ay maraming mga artworks na makikita around the UP campus kasama na sa portals ng University Avenue, sa harap ng business administration, sa harap ng faculty center, at sa UP chapel. Okay, marami nga siya. Ano, pag nag-ikot-ikot ka. Thank you, Prof. Maylin. Prof. Marian. Okay, simple lang, pero biology ulit. Name one egg-laying mammal. Kato. Platypus. Okay, so uh, most mammals don't lay eggs, pero dalawa na lang ngayon ang talaga naglilay ng eggs, echidna or platypus. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Which province in Mindanao has a name which translates to English as highlander or mountain dweller? Ito ay isang landlocked province sa Mindanao. Malay-balay ang kabisera ng lalawigang ito. At ito ang home province ni Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri. Ang tamang sagot ay bukid nun. Maraming salamat. Prof. Maylin, ang iyong tanong please. In protest art, what do you call the artwork that is made intentionally to be destroyed or burned? Charlene. FEG. K-check. Tama. FEG ang tawag sa artwork na sinusunog or, dinit or sinisira para mag-communicate ng communal outrage or naglalagablab na galit. Okay. Nakapag-burn ka na ba ng artwork na ito? Hindi naman. Pero marami sa mga kasamahan ko sa fine arts ang, um, um, ang involved sa paggawa ng mga FEG. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Maylin. Prof. Marian, next question. Oh, yung mga diet conscious. Okay. In the market, wet market, we often hear the term white meat for poultry and fish and red meat for pork and beef. A certain protein is responsible for the color of the meat. Kato. Hemoglobin. Mali. I'll finish. The darker color of the meat means that this protein exists in high amounts in the cell, 
What protein is this? This is a dark red protein. Its main function is to supply oxygen to skeletal and cardiac muscles. Malapit na sana yung hemoglobin, but it's myoglobin. Myoglobin. Ang hirap naman noon, Prof. Marian. Okay? Prof. Neil. Pang twister. Okay? So, susunod ang tanong, which country in Africa saw the killing of more than half a million Tutsis by armed Hutu extremists? Charlene. Rwanda. So, naganap ang genocide sa bansang ito mula Abril hanggang Hulyo 1994. Naging inspirasyon to sa maraming dokumentaryo at pelikula, katulad ng uh, pelikulang Hotel Rwanda. Karamihan ng mga tao sa Rwanda ay mga Hutu. Ngunit ang, ang may hawak sa ekonomiya at politika ay mga Tutsi. Ang tamang sagot ay Rwanda Kaycheck. Maraming salamat. Prof. Maylin. He is the first Filipino Muslim to be proclaimed national artist. Vicky. Abdul Mari Imaw. Okay, check. Si Abdul Mari Imaw ay isang tausog at ang kanyang sining ay reflection and celebration of his culture. Maraming salamat po. Prof. Marian. Okay, last question from me. During New Year's celebration, raw eggs are commonly seen in the hospital as a first aid treatment for possible cases of firecracker ingestion. And firecrackers normally contain metals like lead, copper, and titanium. And specifically, one of the proteins in egg white is responsible for the prevention of metal poisoning. What protein in the egg white is responsible for this said action? Mahaba lang yung intro, pero alam nyo ito. The answer is ovalbumin or albumin. Yung pala yun. <laughs> Prof. Neil. Ang daming tang twister questions. Wala kay Ma Marian. Okay. So, susunod na tanong, what is the name of the person who launched Jollibee back in 1978? Oka. Tony Tan Kaktiong. So, batid na rin ang lahat na isa ng malaking conglomerate ang Jollibee Group. Kasama na dyan yung Chow King, Greenwich, at maging yung uh, franchise na Burger King. Ang tamang sagot ay Tony Tan Katyong, K-Check. Maraming salamat. Nakakagutom ang tanong na yun. Huh? Oh, oh. Prof. Maylin. Panghuling tanong. Who is the national artist who also served as director of various cultural institutions such as the Metropolitan Museum of Manila, the Museum of Philippine Art, and the Design Center. Ang tamang sagot ay si Arturo Luz. So, hindi lang siyang mahusay na sculptor, pintor, um, collage artist, pero isa rin siyang mahusay na cultural manager at isa rin gallery owner. Okay, thank you so much, Prof. Maylin. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Charlene, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 110 points. We'll see Charlene again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Vicky, Oka, and Kato for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Maine. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.